CT testing, primary injection ratio test with AC current or voltage, no load connected. In the ratio test, the ratio test in the CT is performed by connecting the CT primary to the current source. The source has to be wired as per the recommendation to ensure it can carry the required current for the test. The CT secondary wires are connected to the ammeter of the test kit. The unused cores of the CTs have to be shortened in the primary injection method. We will enable the hold on stop option by pressing the ammeter. Voltage is not used, the current is used as AC with hold on stop. We have connected a 100 bar 1 amps CT, so we have to inject more current. Let me reconfigure by connecting generators in parallel. I'm not going to use the voltage, so let me switch it off. I'm going to inject in multiples of 20. So let me inject 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 amps. Each time I will inject for 5 seconds till the value is stabilised and I will stop to note down the reading. The current is 0.201. Injected is 20 amps, 100 bar 1 amps CT. Theoretically, the calculated value is 0.2. The measured value is 0.201. Let me repeat for 40 amps. Theory value is 0.4, the reading is 0.401. 60 amps theoretical calculation is 0.6, the measured value is 0.602 amps. 80 amps, 0.8 is calculated. 0.803 is the measured one. And the full load current 100 amps, 1 amps is calculated value, and the measured is 1.005. So we have the calculated value and the measured value noted in a table. The error is calculated using the formula. Percentage error is equal to the measured value minus the calculated value. The whole divided by the calculated value times 100. The error can be varied to ensure that it is within the acceptable limits.